Last time I Draga one. Today we're gonna be putting an SSD in a Parmac G3, the badass. Let's have some fun! Install a SSD slash compact flash adapter. <laughs> Holy balls! Look at this! Let's see what happens. And now the conclusion. One moment, please. Uh, destination disk, switch disk. That give me an option. So I need a way to format this. Uh, let's try utilities. We have disk for eight and drive setup. So let's try drive setup. List of drives. I don't remember how to do this on Mac OS 9. Okay, we have a not initialized ATA volume. Let's go ahead and initialize it. That's going to be our uh, SSD. Initializing will destroy all data on the following volumes. Ugh! Okay, now we have an untitled drive, which now actually shows up in the finder, so that's cool. So we can quit that. Go back to our installer. So now, as you can see, our destination disk is now untitled, which I will now switch to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> and there we go. Mac SSD. So that's our destination disk. This configuration is not supported on this computer. Well, I wish I read that earlier. <laughs> Fuck. Well, we can try another disk. The PowerMac G4 software install. Uh, and it does look like it's actually meant to be bootable. Uh, it's for the G4 as well, but I don't have a G3 disk. So let's try it. Ah, oh, crap. Yes! 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 Today we have quite a specimen. The PowerMac G3 is going for Apple's noisiest optical drive award, 2015. It's been the champion for three years running. Even adjust to like full resolution, it's crazy, man. Oh my god, that's the icon I was looking for! Mac OS install! Yeah! Damn, son, we sure got lucky. Lucky ducky. Uh, oh, cool. It's only a tenth of the actual drive itself in space. Check out the options. Okay, we don't really need to worry about that. This disk has enough space for a basic installation. All right. Don't worry, I'm a speed reader. Agree. Customize. Okay, so we're gonna want to. Uh, Apparently we can customize this down to the nitty gritty. Network assistant client will probably need all the network assistance we can get at this point. Apple remote access, text to speech, definitely want all that. Uh, any up options? Create installation report. Uh, update Apple hard disk drivers. Yeah, we're gonna need all the drivers we can get. It begins. That feel when you know this will take a shorter amount of time to install than Windows 2000 on better hardware. Install all of the internet access. English speech recognition. Oh yeah. Buy me a cupcake. Oh. <gasps> oh. All right, let's restart this bitch. No CD in there. There's no CD in there. Yeah! Behold! 
booting up all by itself. Pretty, too. Wait a minute. That background, it has exactly the same color scheme as the... as the G3. What's going on? This is... Look at this. Like, I don't understand this. This is the Pyramac G4 software. I put it on a G3, and the background is like... Uh, it looks like the G3. Uh-oh, what the hell happened? Uh-oh, mouse is immovable. Mouse is not movable. Mouse is not movable. Shit. I think it locked up. Oh, shit. No touching allowed. Come on, come on. What? No! Temp to temporarily turn off extensions, restart, and hold down the shift key. <sighs> Shouldn't be laced with that G4 meth. Okay, we're going extensionless. How could you be so extensionless? Hey, it booted. Wow, that's fast. God damn, it's already done. Look at this. You don't have to load those damn extensions. So I guess that's a successful boot because I can see it and it works. So that means. It Wow, holy crap. I Really, the, uh, you probably can't tell uh, because of the light balance of the camera right now. But this is the exact color scheme. The color for the contextual menu items is exactly the same as the G3. I don't know if it actually knows that and it did that on purpose. Because I could have sworn it is not like, oh, it's 1956. Maybe that's a problem. Okay, well, I think I found the problem. Uh, apparently I need the drivers or something for the ATI graphics accelerator. Yeah, that's right. The ATI Rage Pro that was all the rage. Uh, there's no way I can actually predict any of this stuff, because I didn't actually try out this computer until I started making the video. So I'm going to have to do this as we're going along. So 24 hours and two installations of macOS 9 later, I find out that the graphics card error we were getting was due to a hardware issue. And that's right, the graphics card is actually bad. And this is that card right here. But there's a working installation of Mac OS 9 right here. So what happened? Let's take a look. This is a shot of the currently installed ATI Rage 128. And this is the ATI Rage 128 I just removed from the system you'll notice a slight difference in the upper right corner there's apparently a wire on this that joins two solder points that's missing on this one this card actually boots the computer successfully with no errors whereas this one we can only get it started in extensions free mode little wire got popped off possibly but all I know is that I sure am glad I have a second Rage 128. So as you can see, Mac OS 9 has been installed successfully. It boots all the way from Chime to desktop, and it's beautiful. Now, is it fast? Well, we're working with a 350 gigahertz processor. Um, the, the SSD is helping, um, but maybe we need a few more boots to work the bugs out. So I'll play with it a little bit, and then I'll wrap up with a uh, stopwatch challenge. All right, boot up stopwatch test. We're going from chime to desktop. Up, oh, there it goes. Sorry if 
it looks a little bit strange. Uh, the G3 is trying to output 1080p video. It's the only way it would let me record this. SSD. It's not too impressive for the time. I think that'd be pretty good. If you put a mechanical hard drive in this thing, I would say you'd probably be waiting for a couple more minutes. Uh, am I actually going to try and put a mechanical drive in this and see how fast the boot is? No. <laughs> not in a million years, no. I'm too busy enjoying my 1080p Mac OS 9 experience. So before we wrap up today, let's fix this crazy ass resolution and take a, another look at the official specs on this machine. Okay, don't ask me how I got this thing working in 720p exactly, but I did. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at uh, about this computer. Uh, Rockin' version 9.1, 512 megabytes of RAM. We're actually using some virtual memory. Uh, and Mac OS is using up 38 megs of RAM at the moment. System profiler. Shows up our virtual memory. Built in memory, as we saw earlier. Our G3 with 350 megahertz supports TCP over IP. Blah 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 blah. We don't have that plugged into our network, but we can play with that later. Bunch of other stuff. Here's our device tree. It actually properly identifies it as Logitech keyboard. Don't know if this is Logitech mouse, it's an HP mouse, but whatever. Shows us our Firewire. CD-ROM drive. Information about our SSD. So that it's a compact flash card and all the scuzzy things. Hmm. Apparently it's not exactly 720p. What, what did I put it in? Oh, it's close enough. <laughs> Display card itself. ATI Rage 128. As you can see, it's working. And it has exactly the same amount of video RAM that the original ATI Rage 128 Pro in the uh, Power Mac G4 vid had. Looking at most of this other stuff is not really insightful since this is a fresh installation of Mac OS 9. Pretty basic stuff. There you have it. As you can see the sound is working. Didn't even turn speakable items on. Not a whole lot to show off on Mac OS 9 quite yet, because it's fresh installed, but 
Coming up in some future videos, we'll have a whole lot of stuff to do with Mac OS 9 on the G3. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, it's been fun. I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.